Hi everyone, my name is Jill. I'm from Calgary, Canada. I work at Monogram Coffee and today I'm going to show you how I am brewing this beautiful washed gesha from the Lamastis family at Alita Estate in Panama using the origami. For this coffee, we are using a really grind coarse setting and we are doing a brew ratio of 1 to 15. So a little bit of a coarser grind and a little bit of a um, stronger brew ratio today. So the first thing that I'm going to do is add the grounds to my brewer. And once I get it to 20 grams, I'm going to settle the bed just so that it is nice and flat and tear my scale. So the first thing that I'm going to do for this pour over is do a bloom. So I'm going to add 50 grams of water and I'm going to start by pouring really heavily in the center so that the water can saturate all the way down into the coffee bed. And then I'm going to do um, circles all the way to the outer edge until I get to 50. After that, I'm going to do a few different pulses. I'm going to add another 50 grams, two pulses of 60 grams, and then my last one at 80. So let's start the timer. And this brew method is really simple because the only part of this brew that I'm actually timing is the bloom. So I'm going to let for it sit for 30 seconds and then after that each pour all I'm going to do is wait for the water to draw down through the bed and then I'm going to add my other, my other pour on top of that. Each time I pour I'm going to start in the center again and then work my way to the outside just making sure that all of those coffee grounds are evenly saturated so that none of the coffee is left dry so that Everything can be really evenly extracted and you're going to get the best tasting brew that way. So as you can see, it's pretty quick in between each of the pulses. The total brew time for this method will be roughly around three minutes or so. Okay, so this brew is about two and a half minutes, so a little bit quicker than three. It smells really good, so let's taste it. Yeah, I love this coffee. It has a lot of really dark chocolate and like cocoa nib notes. It has some big cherry notes, some tropical fruit. It's a really, really clean natural. We love this coffee from Alita. This brew method I personally think is really easy for anybody to pick up. It can work on not only the origami but any cone shaped dripper that you have. So we'd really like you to try this recipe and let us know what you think.